Yo, what's going on guys? This is Bryn again, and in this tutorial number six, we're gonna be talking about making AngularJS active nav bars. So for you guys that have been following the tutorial videos, I just wanted to show you how I've refactored some of the code. Uh, so basically we have uh, three con new controllers, a daily dose controller, a profile controller, and a submit controller. Um, our partial views correspond with those three controllers. So we have a daily dose HTML, a profile HTML, and a submit HTML. And then if we go to our view uh, in our home EJS file, uh, we can see that uh, we have a daily dose link, a profile link, and a submit link. Uh, so the uh, premise of this video is if you can look here, uh, you can see us navigate around, but our active navbar link never changes. So in this video, we're actually going to show how to use ng class uh, to change the active navbar link. So if you guys go check out uh, the Angular documentation and you navigate to the directive ng class, you're going to see here. The ng class directive allows you to dynamically set CSS classes on an HTML element by data binding an expression that represents all classes to be added. So that works perfectly for active nav bars. When we click on a button, we can dynamically add a CSS class to that button and dynamically remove a CSS class from another button. So if we scroll down just a little bit down on this page, you can see how this actually works in code. Uh, basically, we declare the directive in our HTML ng dash class. And inside here, we have some curly brackets with the class that we want to add. And then right here is actually the ng model in our scope uh, that we want to say basically true or false. Do we want to add it or not? So this is basically a Boolean value, whether or not to uh, show it or hide it. So basically the first thing in code that we want to do is we want to make a new controller uh, for our nav bar. Uh, since this is not in a partial page, because our partial page starts down here at ng view, we want to make a controller specifically for our nav bar that handles all the uh, Angular code that we're going to need. Um, so right here in our nav um, uh, area, we're going to put ng controller. And we're going to set that to nav controller, if I can spell right. Save that. And then we're going to go into our controllers. We're going to create a new file. We're going to create that uh, nav controller.js. Uh, let's just copy one of our current controllers, paste it in there, and delete all this crap out of it. We'll rename it into our, or we'll rename the controller in angular to nav controller save that and then inside of our home.ejs page we actually need to go ahead and bring that controller into the page so I'll copy here set up nav controller and save that so what are we actually doing here when we click on this button this link in the URL changes. And when that link in the URL changes, we want to update the CSS class. So in order to watch this, we need something in Angular that will be able to parse the URL. And that something is called the location service. Um, the location service parses the URL in the browser address bar and makes the URL available to your application, which is perfect. So in order to get uh, the location service into our controller, all we have to do is go right here next to scope we're going to bring in a new injection or a new service we're going to inject a new service into our controller by doing location this is the array style of injecting uh, into um, your controller and then we'll do location here So now we have access to everything in the location service. One of the things in location service is path. And path will give us the um, um, path to basically our slash profile, our slash submit, and our slash uh, daily dose. So let's write a function that will compare um, our location to what was actually being clicked on. Uh, so um, let's do a scope that is active and we'll have that equal to a function that'll take in a destination 
And then what we'll do is we'll return a Boolean value, whether destination equals um, our scope dot path. So uh, scope dot path will return basically uh, whatever the active path is. So if we are on the profile page, it's going to return uh, slash profile. Okay, so now that we have our controller taken care of, we need to go to our home.ejs file and edit the HTML to include our ng class instead of our regular class. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and remove this class, which is active. Let me go ahead and show you what that actually does. If we go to our cover.css file here, uh, you'll see that active basically adds a border bottom color of white um, and stuff like that. So uh, that's the class that we're gonna be changing um, in our ng class. Um, so let's go ahead and add ng uh, class and that'll equal single curly braces active is the name of the CSS style we're going to add and this is where we need to put our boolean value. So uh, here we're going to use the function that we created in our controller is active and then it's going to take in a parameter of slash daily dose. So all we have to do now is copy them for the other three links. So let's go here and here and say well actually we need to adjust these for profile and submit and so what this is going to do is it's going to take uh, this uh, parameter send it to our um, nav controller and then can the it as the destination and then compare that to our path so our profile path so let's save all these things really quick one more time okay so now that we're all saved up let's go ahead and start our server back up so node server.js refresh this and we actually have a error here it's really important that you guys using at least chrome and stuff like that use your developer tools when using angular so you can check out all the errors that are being thrown if you have some Otherwise, you're a perfect programmer and you don't even need any of these videos in the first place. Um, okay, scope.path is not a function uh, in our nav controller. So let's go to our nav controller and we can see here that this is scope and it's actually supposed to be location.path and not scope.path. So let's save that, refresh our page, and now we actually, oh look, everything is actually working as intended. So now um, each time we click on a link, it compares the active location path uh, to uh, the link that we've set it to and uh, then changes the CSS styles using ng class uh, dynamically. So that's it for this tutorial. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them in the comments below. If you like this video, you wanna see more, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys next time.